It is 739. Good morning. I'm meteorologist Josh Linger. Thank you for staying with us here for Weather on the Nines on your morning news. And we are tracking a line of showers and thunderstorms moving through the area. And uh, actually, most of the storms are still out in the Gulf of Mexico, but we're seeing the rain coming in. And this is going to be with us through the morning hours, but the storms themselves are still offshore. And then behind that line of storms, uh, we're not going to see a clearing, but that'll be it for our significant precipitation and storm threat today. And later on in the day, we'll see a couple of showers, but that should really be about it. But let's see what's going on here. We have some rain for you in Citrus County, Hernando County. Again, that line of storm still remains offshore. I'll put the uh, current position on it here and we'll get a close up view of some of this activity that is out in the Gulf of Mexico. And here's the coastline of Pinellas and Pasco County. And this is where we have some of the heaviest storm activity that is coming in. So as far as how close this is to our coastline, uh, it's moving toward the east northeast. So the leading edge of the heavier stuff from, say, the coast of northern Pinellas and southwest Pasco, about 18 miles. So that would put the heavy stuff on shore within about a half hour. And then the storm threat with some stronger wind would be a little bit behind that. Then that'll move through. The storms themselves in any one given location won't last for more than, say, 20, 30 minutes. And then we'll be finished. And then we'll get into, uh, again, some calming weather through the day. So if you have plans to go to the Bucks game today, the game should be storm free. Uh, but I do expect to see uh, some windy weather and a couple of scattered showers. The earlier you go to do your tailgating, the higher the chance of there still being some storms out there this morning.